Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. There are tons of new beverage and snacks all around the park and I wanted to come and show you some of them. On top of that, it has been super busy in the parks and I wanted to show you what some of the summer wait times are like. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a hot and humid July day and it just stopped raining. If you plan on coming to Disney in the summertime, know that it rains like twice a day, but once it stops, you're usually good for the rest of the night. And I'm excited to hang out and ride some rides today. On top of showing you some of the new food and drink offerings they have around the park, we also have dining reservations at the restaurant a lot of people will say is the worst restaurant in Disney's Hollywood Studios. And I'm excited to eat there. I don't think it's that bad, but a lot of people will say it's definitely the worst. But there's something we need to do first, and I'm so excited to show you guys. I had to stop and get one of the free birthday buttons because today is Bonnie's birthday, my sister's birthday, and I'm sad that she couldn't be here today to celebrate with me. Bonnie couldn't get off work to come down and visit me, so I asked her to pick a park and a ride, and I would go there and ride it, and she said Hollywood Studios and the Tower of Terror. So in honor of Bonnie's birthday, before we get to the food and some of the park updates, we're gonna go ride Tower of Terror. Because my sister wanted me to ride Tower of Terror, I bought Genie Plus for the day, and we're on the new system where the Genie Plus is different prices per park, and today it was $24 to buy Genie Plus at Hollywood Studios, and the first thing I got was a lightning lane for Tower, so we're gonna head right on over there. I'm also going to be checking out the Indiana Jones themed bar for the first time. I haven't been here since it re uh, well since it opened and I'm so excited because they have a fedora old fashioned there and it's called the Den of Destiny which I think is amazing so it's going to be cool we're going to check that out later on as well. I'm so happy I ended up getting the lightning lane for Tower of Terror because the standby wait is 75 minutes. And look at the line, it's going all the way outside of the queue. So it's definitely an accurately, like accurate standby wait time. I told my sister since she couldn't get time off of work to come down to Florida to celebrate her birthday that I was going to take her to Disneyland for her very first trip to Disneyland for her birthday. So hopefully that'll happen soon. As soon as she gets the time off, we're going to Disneyland. The last time I was at Hollywood Studios, they let me go into the lobby of the Tower of Terror and I was allowed to take photos and video and it was cool because I could just walk around. I took a, a photo in front of the fireplace. It was awesome, but I'll add a couple of videos in so I can show you in case you missed it because it was seriously one of the highlights of my life is coming in here. Oh my lord, we're going into the lobby now. This is incredible. This is too cool. It seems like a little dusty. They let us in the lobby. Place any larger luggage you may have down at your feet and hold on to anything or anyone that you wish to keep. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Awesome. Good choice, Bonnie. And I can't believe they turned the lights on. How awesome was that? I never seen, well, I've seen them do it once before, so they might have just like turned them on real quick for some reason, but it would have been awesome if they just kept them on. I would have loved to see a lights on ride through Tower of Terror, especially once we got down to like the uh, bottom of the shaft. That would have been really cool. But now it's time to keep moving along and I'm happy the rain is staying away. It's actually turning out to be a beautiful day at Hollywood. 
I'm hoping maybe we can book another lightning lane because I don't want to just spend $24 and only ride the Tower of Terror, but that depends on the wait times and the availability. So we're gonna go check and see what the wait times are looking like right now. Here is a look at some of the wait times in the park. Like I said, it gets crazy here in summer. Rise of the Resistance is 140 minute wait. Smuggler's Run is 85 minutes. Look at this, holy moly. Uh, Toy Story Mania, 90 minutes. Slinky Dog Dash, 130 minutes. Star Tours, uh, 45 minutes for Star Tours. 50 minutes for Meet Disney Stars. It's definitely a very busy day. It looks like there's no good lightning lanes to actually pick right now. They're all unavailable. So we're gonna give it a couple of like a couple of minutes and see if something pops up. We're gonna keep refreshing. I'll show you how you do that. And in the meantime, I think we're gonna head over to the Indiana Jones bar. We made our way over to the Den of Destiny, Indiana Jones. It's my first time coming here, and I met up with uh, my friend Promise, Promise Hope. It's my first time coming here too, and I'm already realizing great minds think alike. Ah, happy birthday, Bon Bon. I feel like I should put this one on. Oh, uh, that, like, see? Okay, it's fancy. It. Oh, wow, I guess we're all celebrating. We're huh? all celebrating. Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> this used to be the old gift shop for Indiana Jones, like uh, the actual stunt show and now they turned it into a little lounge and I like that. They've got rare antiques and refreshing libations and uh, it's all inspired by the daring explorers, uh, Indiana Jones. Look how cool it is in here. I'm gonna show you, they have a lot of props in here that uh, I think are awesome. They got the glass cases, look at that. Of course, you gotta have an indie hat and a indie rope. <laughs> a whip, indie whip, not rope. And uh, yeah, we're gonna grab a drink. A look at some of the drinks. They have the Adventurous Margarita, the Weathered, the Weathered Fedora, which is kind of cool. Then they have a non-alcoholic green tea drink and uh, some uh, IPAs and wheat ales. Very fancy, I ended up getting the old fashioned. And I immediately approved because it's a single cube and that's the only way an old fashioned should be made. Of course I had to get the weathered fedora. I feel like this was literally made for me and I'm so excited to try it. It looks like they put a little garnishing on top there. So cheers, cheers to the fedora. Oh, that is amazing. That is a good fedora right there. I mean, good, good old fashioned. This is actually a really good old fashioned. I think they're pre made, aren't they? They're yeah. a little bit pre made, but it doesn't look it. Yeah, it really is. It's a decent old fashioned. I like it. And uh, the hat is not included. <laughs> I can say I am officially a fan of the Indiana Jones bar because at least they did something with that area. For the longest time, like I said, it was just a gift shop and then it closed during COVID and never reopened. So uh, I, I just don't like seeing unused space, especially in Disney where they can create something magical for everyone to enjoy. Uh, why let something sit abandoned? And now it's time to move along and uh, we're gonna go meet a character, a character who happens to be my sister's favorite character. Now she didn't ask me to do this, but I knew you would want it, Bonnie. I knew you would want this. We are heading into the celebrity spotlight and we're gonna meet Olaf. This is my sister's favorite character and it's a 25 minute wait, but honestly, this is one of those wait times I know is not true. It definitely seems like it's a five minute wait and if you wait till later on, it'll probably be a walk on. Usually there's never a long wait for this and it has a lightning lane option, but it's not really worth it. It's actually a zero minute wait. In summer. In summer. You gotta meet Olaf in summer, <laughs> especially with a zero minute wait. Come on in. Honey, let me show me your best pose. What do we do? Okay, all across like this. I love it. I wanted to come say hi, Olaf. My sister, it's her birthday today, and uh, you are her favorite snowman. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my sister's Bon Bon, Bonnie. Yeah, she loves coming to see you. She's been here before, but uh, we just wanted to stop in and smell the delicious sunscreen that usually is in here. It always smells like sunscreen in here, right? Oh, 
Well, yeah, you gotta protect yourself against those harmful sun rays, you know? I know you're, uh, you're very delicate, very delicate. Well, thank you, thanks Olaf. My sister says hi. Fancy, <laughs> have a great day, bye. <laughs> It was nice to see Olaf. I'm still kind of shocked that nobody's in there waiting to meet him. Like when we walked out, he was just lingering there, just standing there waiting. Like standing in his little sun, his little beach, his tropical island, just sitting there waiting and dancing. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to make our way to dinner. Grab a little something to eat at the restaurant I was talking about and I'll show you it right now. Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano. This is the restaurant I was talking about. This Italian restaurant tucked away in the back of Grand Avenue. And this actually gives me old NGM Studios vibes. I love this restaurant a lot. The food, you know, a lot of people aren't the biggest fans, you know? In fact, I think this is a more hated spot than Tony's. <laughs> and I like Tony's, but we're gonna try some new, uh, some new things. I've eaten here before, but I'm thinking about uh, mixing it up a little bit. And they do have some new menu items on the menu itself. They've got like the charred strip steak, which everyone says that steak is actually pretty good they've got the shrimp campanelli mama's italian pasta spaghetti and meatballs chicken parm all of the good stuff and the desserts that's what i'm excited for because i think they have a mini cannoli trio yeah look at this they have a cannoli trio so it's orange cream caramel butterscotch and, tradi and a traditional cannoli so i know what i'm getting for dessert i just got to figure out what i'm getting uh, as an appetizer or entree Honestly, this definitely is a restaurant a lot of people will say is the worst restaurant Hollywood Studios. In fact, some of them even say it's the worst restaurant on Disney property. But whenever I go to restaurants, I really like to kind of uh, like judge it or like rank it off of uh, like total package, you know? So I want to see the theming in the restaurant, the atmosphere, the location, the food, the desserts, and the drinks. So for me, honestly, I really really love the theming of this place. It's really cool and I'll get into the backstory a little bit. And now I'm interested in the dessert menu. Now I've had the entrees before, but I've never explored the desserts and the desserts actually look phenomenal. How, how come I've never seen this before? Look at all these desserts. Like I already mentioned the mini cannoli trio, but they also have Colors of Italy cheesecake, a blueberry frangipan tart, gelato, lemon sorbet, tiramisu, cherry chocolate cake, and mama's cookies to go. Mama's cookies to go. A box of cookies to go. How awesome is that? I've never realized how amazing this dessert menu actually is. The backstory behind the theming in the restaurant is Mama Melrose wanted to open up a spot where she can show off all of her, you know, culinary skills. And being here in the back lot, she just gathered all the unused movie props and put it together and made a nice little area to cook food for all the uh, actors and actresses and directors. And it's kind of cool because it's a little bit Christmassy, tons of props inside there and I just like it. I like the atmosphere a lot. The restaurant itself has an open kitchen where you can see the chefs actually preparing your order back there and look at it how beautiful it is in here. Look at it. I love all the lights. This is so cozy. I like it a lot. We have a late arrival come in here. <laughs> Kristen's joining me, I promise. Out of all of my times coming here, I've never sat in a booth before. And look at all of these old school MGM Studios pictures with Roger Rabbit in it. Look at this. Wow. This is so awesome. I would hang these in my house. Not even kidding. There's a little Mickey right there. Wow, this is too cool. I love Roger Rabbit. And a little Tom and Jerry too. I like it. I love the fact that like all those pictures are right behind me. Like honestly, how cool is that? I love Roger Rabbit. I want to see more of him in the parks. In fact, I can't wait to go back to Disneyland and ride uh, the Roger Rabbit. Well, ride uh, his like his ride in Toontown. My sister's never been there, so uh, I hope she's excited. As an appetizer, I decided to get the minestrone, and look at this soup. 
It looks really good. It's definitely a lot of noodles and beans, but we also ended up getting the flatbread pizza and they uh, make this dough in house. They have a really nice oven. I want to show you guys. We'll go back up, but look at the undercarriage here. Look at that. Look at that little crust there, a little char. And then Kristen and Promise both got, uh, what'd you get? All, all the fried things. All the fried things. <laughs> fried mozzarella yep. right there. We'll and save then you a piece of that mozzarella. The calamari. No, I'm good. I'll try the calamari <laughs> though. I'm going to try the pizza, the calamari, and the soup. The soup. All right, it's time to get into the soup. I'm sorry, I was just laughing a lot because Kristen is literally exposing me over here about my thumbnail. <laughs> she basically already called me out and was like, hey, I bet your thumbnail is gonna be a picture of you holding a button with uh, Bonnie's name on it, wishing her a happy birthday. And uh, by the uh, thumbnail of this video, she's correct. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna dive into the soup, get lots of the noodles in there, some of the beans, you know, gotta get it all. Some fresh zucchini. Mmm. Good soup. Oh. It's so going. It's so good. <laughs> the main event has arrived, and I ended up getting the charred strip. And uh, it usually comes with a macaroni and cheese, but I opted out for some vegetables and they told me I can get uh, some zucchini. So I got some zucchini. And then this right here is pancetta. Pancetta, it's like Italian bacon and it comes in the macaroni and cheese, but I asked for it on the side and I already took a piece and I love it. But we're gonna cut into the steak. Not much char on there though. I did, I mean, it's advertised as char and I asked for a Pittsburgh but I don't see any, so we're gonna give it a go. Still see how it tastes, you know? Right, it's time to dive into the steak here, and it comes with a little sauce on it. It's called a Chianti. Chianti? Chianti, it's a Chianti. red wine. Oh, Chianti, I heard that before. I think it's Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> cut into this a little bit. Like I said, I wish it was a little bit more charred. I asked for oh God, like extra well charred. Let's see, but we're gonna give it a go. The steak would definitely be better if it was charred up the way that I think it was supposed to be. I haven't tried the Chianti, the Chianti, <laughs> or the sauce, but I can tell you I love the pancetta probably more than I like the steak. And I'm a big, like, steak fan, you know? I like ribeyes. The ribeyes are the most. I'm a ribeye guy. I'm not the biggest fan of strip loin, so it, without, without it having the char, it really doesn't, uh, it, it won't rank high for me. But the pancetta, that's a different story. This is nine out of 10 right there. And I get a whole bunch of it. Now it's time for dessert. And I'm excited because I looked over the dessert menu and there was a lot of great options on there that I knew that I would like. One of them being the box of cookies, but sadly, they don't make them anymore, they said. I would have gotten the box of cookies to go because I just want to see what it's like. And instead, I've got something good. I got the cannoli trio, and I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to try the orange cannoli. And overall, this place, like I said, it's not the best food. I do like the atmosphere. I mean, it's hard to like sit here and kind of remember the fact that Olivia Newton-John and <laughs> Roger Rabbit are lighting the Christmas tree at Echo Lake behind you. Like, how cool is that? Look at that. It looks like our desserts have arrived and I went with the cannoli trio and that one comes with an orange like uh, an orange cream cannoli, a traditional cannoli and then I forget this one. I think it's oh caramel butterscotch. Yeah. And they actually look really cool. It looks very pretty. And then promise you end up getting the colors of Italy. See, the colors like the of Italy. Italian Oh, I like that. But cheesecake. Very <laughs> fancy. And then Kristen got the, the tiramisu. 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 And that looks good too. Is that like a gigantic lady finger outside of the tiramisu? I like it. Wow. The desserts are looking good. All right, we're gonna do a little speed round testing all of the cannolis. Uh, I cut it up into three so we can share them, but I figured I'd just do it real quick. We'll try the orange one first. Look at little tiny cannoli bite. I like that a lot. Now for the butterscotch one, that one's pretty good too. And now for the traditional one. 
if I was gonna rank them all, I would probably go the orange one, then the butterscotch one, and then the original one. I liked them all, they were definitely different, and it's kind of cool. How did you guys like your tiramisu? Or did you like your dear? Did you like your tiramisu? It was like okay, like it's not horrible, but it, compared to the rest of the meal, I thought it was one of the better things we tried today. Well, that was nice to have a little dinner at Mama's. Uh, the food isn't the best there. I do like the ambience. I think it's very nicely themed. I like the story behind it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the worst restaurant in Walt Disney World. I would say it's probably the worst in Hollywood Studios, though. I mean, once I play back everything, you know what I mean? Sci-Fi Diner, I think Mama's might have better food than Sci-Fi, but the atmosphere in Sci-Fi is better. And there's not anything thing that I think is worse than that here. Now, in the whole entire Walt Disney World, there's a couple of restaurants I can think of that are definitely worse than that, but that's another day. That's another story, another video. Now we gotta keep moving along and keep on enjoying our day. I don't know how much time we have left here at Hollywood Studios, but we're gonna make the most of it. And if not, we're gonna head home, see Gracie, and see what else we get into for the rest of the night. While we are back here by Mama Melrose, I wanted to show you some of the things that we lost during the pandemic that sadly we haven't gotten back yet. And one of them being the It's a Wonderful Shop. This is like the Christmas shop here at uh, Hollywood Studios. This closed down and never opened up again. Look at, it's just empty in there. And then also, this used to be like a Nightmare Before Christmas store. This was stage one company store. This closed down and hasn't reopened except for like special events. I know sometimes I'll do like the May the 4th in there and stuff like that, but used to be an awesome, cool store. And with all of these buildings not opening back up, Mama Melrose being the way that it is, I bet you that it's not going to be too long before this is rethemed and changed. I bet you, see, I bet you, I see it coming soon. They they might keep Pizza Rizzo because it fits with Grand Avenue and the Muppets over there. But what about all of this? I mean, they got to do something. Remember before I was telling you, like you know, you have to do something. You can't leave. You can't leave these abandoned spots like empty when you can be putting something in there that makes people happy. Even just open the shop back up. I would love that. Hey, uh, you got the dough? We got the cheese. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Hey, uh, you got the dough? We got the cheese. <laughs> oh, okay. Outside of Indiana Jones, the rescue rangers are meeting and greeting. That's kind of cool because usually that was something that you would have to come to like a Moonlight Magic to see. And now they're here all the time. And he had the fedora on just like you did earlier. Oh, fancy. No, it's the real boy and his dad. <laughs> wow, both of them together. <laughs> well, that's too cool. Come on, Papa. <laughs> I think we're going to call it quits here at Hollywood Studios for the day and start making our way out to the car and then go home and see Gracie Girl now. I feel like I did Bonnie proud. I wish I could have gotten more rides in because uh, I spent $24 on Genie Plus, but uh, there's none available. Like uh, Slinky Dog Dash completely sold out. Uh, Smuggler's Run, that was so gone too. I could buy a individual Lightning Lane for Rise of the Resistance, but that was $22. So that means I would have spent almost $50 just for Tower and Rise but that wouldn't have been until park closed anyway, so that wouldn't have helped me anyway. And now it's time, like I said, go see little Gracie girl. There's nothing better than driving under a monorail to get home. Look at that. And speaking of that, we're about to drive underwater too, because we're going under the connection between Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. Look at that. I'm looking for a little Gracie girl. Has anybody seen her? There she is! Whoa, there she is! You wanna go for a little walkie? Huh? Did you tell Aunt Bonnie happy birthday? I know, you're a dog, you can't talk, but uh, if you would, I know you... 
Where are you going? I don't know why she ran away like that. But also, I'm not too sure if I pointed out to you guys that I got a new Wally Roosevelt shirt on. Look at this. Isn't this so fancy? I love Wally. -E. These are coming out soon. There's a whole collection celebrating the anniversary, and there's a link in my description uh, that'll take you to my personal collection page with Roosevelt's. So if you uh, want to buy the shirt when it drops, uh, just check the link in the description. But come on, Grace. Look at her hanging out there. What are you doing? Come on, little one. What'd you do all day today, huh? Huh? Just hung out? Be a dog? Is that what you did? Yeah? Yeah, you're a good girl. What are you doing? <laughs> are you just laying down on the grass? I'll lay down with you. I'll lay down with you. Yeah, that's what we do. Huh? You're just laying down on the grass? Chilling out? What a good girl. Just chilling on the grass with my dog. People would be walking by wondering if there's something wrong with this dog. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Who's the pretty princess? You know, honestly, I really do have the chillest dog in the world. Gracie is just so chill like this. Look at her. When it's just me and her, it's just me and her. She loves it. And with that, we are done here today. I had a lot of fun at Hollywood Studios. Sorry, I did not spend much more time there. It was very busy, very hot out, very sweaty, crazy world, lots of smells, and we could only get Tower of Terror done. Then we got to have dinner, but we did get to go see Olaf at least. I was like trying to talk Promise and Kristen to hopping on Star Doors with me, but that was like at a 30 minute wait. Like, it was crazy busy today, but overall I had a lot of fun. It's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Bon Bon. Can't wait to hang out with you, and as soon as you're ready, we're going to Disneyland. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!